Hola, soy Sasha, this is Ama Spanish, and this video is for my lifelong learners. I'm answering the question, which Spanish accent is the best? <laughs> okay, and I think this is based on three things. Of course, this is gonna be based on what sounds good to you. So you should go out there, listen to music from different Spanish speaking countries, listen to podcasts, listen to newscasts, and see what feels good for you when you listen to it, what, what, which accents are soothing to you. This is also going to depend on um, your future plans, your goals, your objectives. Is it your long-term goal to move to a Spanish-speaking country, to have a second home there, to have a job there, to travel extensively? If you're going to travel for six months through Mexico, it might be valid for you and justified for you to learn a Mexican accent. Also, uh, you should think about your current ability. <laughs> think about your current ability. So if you are very advanced, well, there are a myriad of options for you. Whereas if you're just beginning, you might want to go with the Spanish from Spain or Mexican Spanish or Colombian Spanish because these ones are widely known, widely recognized. Um, for instance, you might not want to go for um, like a Nicaraguan Spanish, right? For instance, of course, I'm sure that Nicaraguan Spanish is amazing. However, you might want to go for um, a more inner circle variety, so to speak. People do say that Colombian Spanish is clear, and sort of neutral and also Mexican Spanish um, there are lots of telenovelas and things that are produced in Mexican Spanish so it might be easier for you so yeah I think it's based on those things it's based on you know what actually sounds good to your ear it's based on your future plans and it's also based on your current ability <laughs> Um, I don't think you can go wrong with this. Oh, there's one other thing I want to mention too. I guess this is like a bonus. But also think about your interests because some varieties might be more relevant to you based on your interests. For instance, if you really like bachata music and dance, then you might want to focus more on like Puerto Rican, Dominican, Spanish. Whereas um, if you like flamenco music, you might be interested in um, Spanish from Spain or Argentina. Um, personally, I like, <laughs> I really like uh, Cuban salsa and salsa in general. So for me, I listen to a lot of uh, Cuban salsa music, Colombian salsa music, basically any salsa music. Um, but your interests can also tie in to the variety that you select. And I think it's sort of like a feedback circle. So <laughs> a cycle, because you have the variety that you like and you have this interest, the interest exposes you to that variety. And as you get better at it, it kind of motivates you to go deeper into the thing that you're interested in. Um, so I don't think you can go wrong with that. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you the best on your lifelong language learning journey. And please follow me for more if you like this kind of thing. If you are a lifelong Spanish learner, follow me. All right, thank you everybody. Adios.